At the beginning of the series, Lois Griffin was a doting and protective parent. She was seen taking an interest in her children's lives, upholding strong morals and slowly coming into her own as an assertive woman. As the show progressed, Lois turned into a more selfish and jaded person. Her parenting suffered as a result and led to a lot of upsetting moments where she displayed how neglectful she became. Today, we're counting down the top 10 moments Lois Griffin proved she was a horrible mother. I'll be today's guest voiceover, but no need to worry as your regular narrator will be back for the next video. Now, let's get into it. At number 10 is Climbing Mount Everest. In the first episode of season 11, Lois wound up running into one of her exes and took him up on an invitation for the two families to have dinner together. Though Lois had tried to get Peter to stifle his jealousy during the dinner, afterwards she revealed she was just as unhappy about the evening as Peter was. Lois was quick to declare that they would be following through on Peter's bluff to climb Mount Everest in an effort to prove they were just as good as Ross's family. Lois is generally displayed as the sensible parent, even when her ethics failed her much of the time in later seasons. This choice was appalling for her to make. Yes, Peter had been the one to initially claim that they would be taking on the challenge, but when he decided to opt out of following through, Lois had been the more demanding figure. Her delusions of being able to prove her superiority overrode the motherly instinct to protect her children that had once been present, which led them to almost freeze to death. Following at number 9 is Meg Spring Break. During the early seasons, the family was still establishing their roles with one another, and one of the dynamics that has changed the most over the years is that of Lois and Meg. In the episode of Fish Out of Water, Lois started to display her reckless nature. After Meg had complained about not being able to have a fun spring break like her classmates, Lois had decided to take Meg on a girl's trip to try and cheer her up. When this plan failed and Meg insisted on going back home, sulking about not being able to party like her peers, Lois surprised her daughter by taking them both to a spring break hotspot. Once there, Lois quickly joined the party and encouraged Meg to follow her lead. This then snowballed into Lois leaving Meg outside for hours while becoming intoxicated. Even if Lois hadn't left Meg out of the party, her plan to grab an ID for Meg to use it to get into the club wasn't responsible on her part. Lois later persuaded Meg to join her on stage, where the teenager ripped her shirt off and got them arrested for public indecency. Then, as they were being driven to the police station, Lois decided to free the two of them from their handcuffs and push Meg to tuck and roll out of the vehicle. One could make the argument that Lois had given Meg the spring break that the teen wanted, and so it was more of an effort of good parenting. But we have to disagree. Lois wanting to please her daughter was not a good enough excuse to break numerous laws and lead Meg into trouble. Ranking at number 8 is Trying to Ruin Christmas. There have been a few Christmas-based episodes in the series where Lois expressed how much stress the holiday placed on her to make everything perfect. While some of the early storylines did a great job with this idea, one of the most recent tellings was much more underhanded. The first note L displayed Lois as being manipulative in order to get the appreciation she felt she deserved. Now, we will concede that yes, Lois had tried to divide up the tasks among her family and was let down. However, we also want to point out that she went into this episode with a very passive-aggressive mindset, cursing loudly as she dragged a heavy tote down the stairs full of decorations rather than simply asking for help. Yes, there may have been a small chance that she had asked and was ignored, but we have to approach the situation with what was shown. When Lois was let down, she decided to leave the family to figure out the holiday on their own, making up a story that she was going to Mexico. Instead, Lois had decided to stay in a hotel where she could spy on the family, expecting them to call her at any moment and beg for her to come home. When the family was shown to do fine without her, Lois became horribly jealous and decided that she would steal the family's Christmas from them. In a fashion mimicking that of the Grinch, Lois took all of the decorations and gifts from the home. What's worse is even after Lois felt guilty about what she had done, she never paid the price for this crime. Instead, a Muslim neighbor was punished for the theft and Lois was able to hide her actions from the family. Next at 7 is trying to hide Stewie's injury. This instance wasn't entirely Lois' fault, as she wasn't the one to initially injure Stewie and leave his head wound untreated. Chris and Meg had been the ones to try and hide Stewie's wound out of fear of being punished, and Peter had been the one to insist they continue to hide it, claiming that he had done the same with the two of them. What's more, Peter had been the one to toss Stewie behind the car as Lois was pulling out of the driveway, framing her for the injuries. Lois, understandably terrified, did not react as expected. Rather than immediately taking Stewie to the hospital as Peter had predicted she would, Lois's reaction was to hide the accident until they could blame it on someone else. Yes, she was copying what the rest of the family had already done, but even her own husband expected better of her. At number 6 is using Stewie for money. After Stewie was selected to star in a peanut butter commercial, Lois embraced the idea of it being the start of a promising career for the infant. The whole thing had started with her wanting to set away money for Stewie's college fund but quickly spiralled into her using the money for herself and using Stewie's success to fuel her pride. She teamed up with Peter to deprive Stewie of sleep to make him rehearse 
and threatened Stewie with the idea of killing his toys if he didn't pass an audition. She allowed Peter to drug their infant in order to give Stewie an edge. Lois hadn't even shown much remorse for what she and Peter had done, and was more disappointed that Stewie's career was over after he freaked out during the shooting of the ad. Taking the spot at number 5 is Made Out with Meg's Boyfriend. In season 8, Meg surprised her family by showing up to the house with a boyfriend. After a spectacle, the whole town tried to figure out what was wrong with the boy, only to find nothing. Lois and Peter soon embraced the idea of their daughter dating. This, however, led to Lois being torn. While Anthony was sweet and flattering towards Lois, Peter responded by tearing her down commenting on how Lois' body was aging. This led to Lois becoming desperate to be seen as desirable, and so she set up a situation where Meg would leave Anthony alone at the house, giving Lois a chance to hook up with Anthony. Had Meg not walked back in, there is no doubt that things would have gone much further than a makeout session. At number four is exposed as a hypocrite. When Lois found a vape pen in Stewie's room, she quickly lashed out at Chris for being irresponsible before taking the pen to likely toss it out. When Chris approached her, prepared with a lie about how it belonged to a friend of his, Lois quickly coughed cigarette smoke in his face, and it was exposed she had been sneaking cigarettes on a regular basis. Lois had been justified in taking away the vape from her teenage son, especially since she found her infant with it. However, she was still hypocritical, as smoking is just as poor for one's health. We also need to mention the fact that Lois, despite always trying to enforce rules in the Griffin home, began this scene by walking into Stewie's room to steal money from his piggy bank. Next at number three is throwing out everything. When Lois became invested in the idea of throwing away everything that didn't give her joy, she took the idea way too far. In her need for a minimalist life, Lois soon became obsessed and found every little thing to be a bother. When she asked Peter to leave, it was somewhat expected. Their marriage had gone through a lot of trials over the years and there was little doubt that this trend will continue as the series goes on. However, when Lois began throwing out food, her children's possessions, and eventually her children, Lois showed that she was spiralling. She never truly got help for what drove her to get rid of everything and snap the way she had, leaving an unsettling ending for viewers as the possibility that she may do something similar again hung in the air. Taking the spot at number two is abandoning her children. It's no secret that Lois is obsessed with being considered desirable and youthful. So when a couple approached her and Peter, thinking them to be new parents, Lois was over the moon. She quickly took to the idea of embracing more youthful trends and even moving out of the house completely in order to keep up the facade that her older children didn't exist. When Meg and Chris showed up to expose Lois and Peter as liars, Lois had been too preoccupied covering for herself that she didn't even notice that Stewie was left behind in a pool unsupervised. Yes, all the other children had also been left behind, but other parents being neglectful doesn't justify Lois abandoning her family. And finally, at the number one ranking, we have Nearly Drowning Stewie. In one of the most recent episodes in the series, Lois decided to try some of Brian's painkillers after he broke his arm. She quickly became addicted to the way the pills made her feel, and when Brian didn't refill the prescription, Lois went on a frenzied hunt through the house to find any remaining pills that might have been hidden or forgotten about. She was successful in finding one, but she dropped it in the toilet. Unable to reach it with her own hands, she decided to use Stewie's smaller ones. This led to Lois shoving Stewie into the toilet bowl while screaming for him to grab the pill, nearly drowning the infant before Brian rushed to stop her. What do you guys consider the worst thing Lois has done as a parent? Comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on. We are the Screen Addicts, addicted to the screen as much as you.